What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Back with another Transformers Studio Series figurine review, and we have Studio Series 110 Shockwave from Transformers Bumblebee. And without further ado, let's get into it. So let's get into the background first. The background looks just like this. It's Cybertron, you know, getting being destroyed and everything like that in the background. It's a war going on. And that's what it looks like. Let's take a good, good look at it. Yeah, I like that. I like the background and everything. I can't wait to see what it looked like in the new movie, Transformers 1, when it's all beautiful, all the colors, lights, and everything. I want to see that. Like, we, we should have gotten, you know, some cartoons with showing all that because literally, I, I love the way... You know the transformers glow and i love the way the lights look i love the way everything about everything of transformers and cybertron but this is shockwave right here let's get into the details so we got some good arm details details on arm right here you got the dreads right there and then you also have some really nice battle damage detail going all the thighs right here some good machinery detail going all the right here from the leg down no hollow parts from what i see even on this side too really really nice good detail to the feet the feet reminds me of Studio Series um, Rise of the Beast Prime. So does all right here. It all looks familiar to me. So yeah, I can see why they say he looks like Prime a little bit. But hey, so I do enjoy this figure. He is fun, posable, playable. Yes, I understand he has no biceps wibbles and if you see right there that's why and he's really yeah he's really good articulated he kind of looks like prime shockwave a little bit too like with the intakes and stuff like that right here i'm pretty sure that's what they're called and then look at his spinal column in the back like he has no kibble whatsoever no kibble no backpack no nothing he's so clean and solid sturdy literally in that detail well, I see a little hollow parts back there but that's that's nothing to me that much you know he's not really all that hollow and he feels so good dense and everything nice and solid and he also can balance on one bit of foot you can balance on both of them, I'm pretty sure. He should be able to. Come on. Uh, I don't really want to try. I usually go on this one and he'll stand. But articulation-wise, you already see me do this. His arm goes out all the way like that. 90-degree bend. Wrist swivels all the way around. Rotate his arm all the way around. Leg goes all the way out like this. 90 degree bend right there. I do believe. Yep. His foot pivots all the way down like that. He has a little bit of ankle tilt, but not that much. It kind of limits it a little bit. He also has a thigh swivel, a, le a lower leg swivel. He also has forearm rotation 90 degrees i'm pretty sure i already showed you that no ab crunch waist rotation and that's just about it oh his head moves all the way around 360 and that's how far he moves Now, what I think, oh, he has bite piping too, so like, I don't know if you can see it, but 
he does have light piping. It's not all that good, cause you know, it's like, it looked like his eyes painted, but he has light piping. I don't know how they did that. I don't know, but I feel like it works really well when you're like actually like beaming the light on top of his head and then you can really see that he has light piping when you, you know, block it, he looks dead. But, you know, here he has his shock blaster. I don't know what they call this at all. But he has his hose right there. These are the only accessories that you come with. Yes, it does come off, which we will do once we get to the transformation. I'm just trying to fix him up right here, right now. Let's take a good look at the packaging, because I definitely did not take a look at the box. So, now you got the CGI render right there. Looks really nice. Studio Series Shock Wave 110. It's just a nut Hasbro Decepticon logo. Transformers all throughout right there. The box on the top, it says Transformers. Bumblebee, Dakar, Tony, Autobot Generations. On the side of the packaging, you got another CGI render up. Shockwave, looking fantastic with all that engineering and detail, which he looks so spot on, literally. Like, the detail I just showed you right here on his leg, is all right there. Literally. So yeah, really, really, really good. Really good, really good, really good. Now, it's a real it's a real one. I think take Transformers. He transforms in 22 steps, and he is big screen inspired. And you know, you see the you know obligatory product shots where you show the figure and they show the vehicle mode and Transformers Bumblebee Shockwave right there. Backdrop included. And that's where they show the figure. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna put him in that pose real quick. Should I be having it? Put him in that pose right quick. But yeah, even on the top of the box, it says Transformers Bumblebee. On this side, Studio Series, I can't really see my camera. Studio Series 110, Shockwave, another picture of him. And he is a Forger class. Bring that background back up in here. And I'm gonna pose him on this background and I'm gonna talk about what I like about him. And then we're gonna get into the transformation. All right, so what I like about this figure is that he, like even without the biceps level, he still is really good articulative. So he really has good articulation. And also I like the way he looks, that he looks accurate to how it looks. I'm pretty sure right here, you know, it looks a little more brighter, you know, like from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's more like a light silver, but that's fine, that's fine for me. That's probably the only thing I can say from, in my opinion, that is not, um, uh, not active. What was that word? Um, I forgot what that word was already, but that's like the, um, oh, accurate, there we go. That's like the only part I can see on this figure that's not accurate. Other than that, everything else is fine, you know? But, you know, sometimes it can be a little limiting, you know? I wish he had better ankle pivots and, and swivels and all that and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's fine and it's okay to me. I like the way his, um, well, I didn't show this part off, but he, if you see right here, he has like battle damage right there too as well. And they actually look like they did really good with the battle damage looking. Because 
on some of them they don't be looking all that good they just look like they like 3d printed battle damage on them like just scratches and all kinds of stuff so now let's transform him now i do know how to transform him by heart actually i do because you know it's not that um, hard it is pretty easy you know and I, I i learned it but i'm still going to use the instructions because this is something i do differently on my youtube i'm going to use instructions i'm going to do certain little things that's different not that everybody else does everybody else be doing a good job when they come to their reviews but i'm still just a little different so that way i'm gonna go ahead and do this now let's transform him using the instructions and i like to show the instruction off because it's for reasons so shockwave transforms i'm gonna be same thing you already seen in the box but studio series 110 shockwave right there once again let's get into these instructions and it shows you what you're supposed to do. So, number one, to equip the accessory he comes with. Bam, bam, bam. You take the hose, you plug it, and right here. And then plug it in right here. Now you can do it on either side you want to. I might try it out on the right side to see it, how that will look. Um, that's how you attach it. I just showed you guys that. And now to transform him, step one, take off the gun. Well, no, this is not how to transform him. This is how to transform him. Because you can transform him with it off or with it on. And now I'm going to transform him with it on. It doesn't bother me. It's giving you guys a good look with the instructions. And I'm assuming that you have to transform his hand and set up his arm in order to equip the weapon so it can fit on there perfectly. But I have done it without doing that. So... You know, it's not that bad at all. You can do it with the handout. It's your toy, it's your figure, do what you like. Me personally, I just didn't, I just do it the way the instructions tell me to do it and I just don't have his hand right there, but you can have his hand transformed out and just, you know, I'll, I'll show you if you don't know what I'm talking about, but let's get to transforming him. All right, so first thing you wanna do, you wanna remove this, right? Remove that. Okay. Let's make them more straight. Okay, let's try to do this on camera. So, we're gonna put those up, put these arms up just like this, right? Bring the legs up. Then, right here, right here is where you're gonna bend. Nice and straight. Man, that looks funny, bro. That looks really funny to me. I'm not even gonna lie. Get it back a little bit more. But that that looks funny to me. It really does. It does. Okay. Now, um, we do that. Make sure you know everything is all nice and straightened out. Okay, and the next step you want to do is you want to. Uh, that was one, two, three. Take the treads. I'm sure you're right here. Number four. Pull the treads out. Right here, pull these out. Then rotate them. Same thing on the other side, rotate them. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna snap them in, so push in. So just like this. 
just push them in. Then, after you do that, the next step you want to do is. What you want to do is now, you want to rotate. The feet goes up just like that and now click into place. And then do the same thing on the other side. Back. I'm sorry you guys for the background noise. I am really trying to have some good peace and quiet. My Baby brother is all over the place right now and it's kind of bugging me because I really do need the peace and quiet so I can do this video for you guys. So bear with me. All right, so after you lift the feet up like that, what you want to do is you want to grab hold of his chest and then pull it. So pull it and then that's how it's built like that. And then what you want to do is you want to rotate it down. So pull it on tap just like that. And then I already know how to do this part. This part you just gotta flip down and you know, tab in. If you see right here, this is gonna tab in. To these right here that I'm pointing at. My thumb right here that's moving. So, let me straighten everything out again. Now, you know exactly what I said. Rotate that down. Give it a good squeeze. Really good squeeze. Once you tap those in, what you want to do is the holes right here in this leg will tap in right here. So what you want to do is This is nice and snug and just have those in right there into his legs. And there you go. Now what you want to do is on the underside this will tab in right here Excuse me. so boom it's 11 just like that so that was just lifted up and i pushed it down into that spot where i said that's where it's going to tap in at so just you know make sure everything is still nice and stable and everything okay now what you want to do is make sure his head is straight now what you're going to do mm, mm, rotate shockwave's body up so go just like this mm -hmm. just like that okay you see what I'm doing? You know, tab or untab. Then push Shockwave's head down. Just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to like that. Now take the arms. Right? So let's see, let's see. 
How do they want me to do it? This way. All right. With the arms. Take them. Or take them back just like this. I had it just like that. I had them up like this. Rotate them back like that. And then take his hand. You know, if both of his hands out, this is what you do on both sides. Now pay attention, y'all. Open it up like this. Rotate it all the way back like that. And that should be sitting just about like this. Then you take it and snap it in. Then, after you do that and you snap it in, what you want to do is you want to rotate his arm just like that. So this is already, you know, done already. Rotate arm. Make sure they're straight. Now, how do you guys show you guys this? Right here is some, it's like a tab that you want to slide this little slot in. You, if you have your, they have this figure, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. You see how that looks right there? That part right there is what you want to have in the arm to the back of the arm so rotate it once again now just like this and then we'll tab in i don't think you guys saw me as good i did it on the side too now remember just like this and then i'll tab in like that you'll hear it too you'll hear it This is what I like to do. I like to make sure everything's all nice and snug, tabbed in all together. Once you get everything together, it feels so like snug, tight and everything. And then, then after you do that, now what you want to do is you want to rotate the arms up. Now, remember why I showed you guys the little holes where the bicep point is? This is what holds the arms in vehicle mode. Now, right here, tab that into right there. Do it on both sides. And make sure that's nice and tab in all good. What you want to do is with the cannon. Now, look, it's hollow under. So, what you want to do is take this, push it, rotate it up like that. So, it kind of it goes down just like that, it goes down the certain way like that. So, just like that. Then flip the handle down. By the way, if you guys don't want to use the hose, you guys can really just um, in rubber mode. Though. And if you guys don't want to use the hose, it, well, in rubber mode and vehicle mode, if you don't want to use the hose, you don't have to. You can just use it like this. But I like the hose on them and a complete shockwave, so I'm gonna keep them, keep it on. So yeah, rotate that handle down. And then this hole right here is where the handle's gonna plug into. So, so tap that all the way down, just like that. And now there you go. Shockwave is officially in this tank mode, this Cybertronian tank mode. And that is fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. It's enjoyable, a good transformation, not too complex, a little complex, not really, you know, a little easy, and it's cool to flip him, you know, back and forth from different modes. This is what I enjoy. I like this. So that was good on Hasbro's part right there. Let me move the camera down. 
All right, here we go. And yeah. And basically, you know, with the instructions too, like if you guys can really see and, and the instructions help, and when you guys get them in vehicle mode, the same way you transformed him, just start off the same way you transformed him back. Like, it's, it's, it's really simple, honestly, you guys, it really is. So, um, and what I mean by that is, so you see how it starts off from, you know, to transform him one all the way to where you get to his vehicle mode just go backwards just go backwards that's all you gotta do go backwards so with this just lift the lift the gun up take apart the arms rotate them you know do all that i, I i'll show you guys if I, if I have enough video storage but if not thank you guys for watching this is a really good video in my opinion and like and share and you know subscribe and yeah, but I'm not ending the video yet. Let's take a look at his tape boat. Okay. I don't need the instructions right now. Ah, his tank mode. Yes. Okay. One, it rolls. It rolls really good. He has wheels. He has wheels. He rolls really good. He does have wheels. Um, this moves, and it can move all the way around as well. It can move all the way around, but the hose will stop it. But again, if you guys don't like the hose, you guys can take it off if you want to. But me personally, I like it, so I keep going. It also can rotate up just like that, and again, spin around. And what it reminds me of when I watched the Transformers um, 1 trailer, when I watched all of them, it reminded me of when Megatron was driving in his tank mode and he was lifting his uh, turret up to shoot at whatever he was shooting at. And he was just rotating like that. So he was just kind of like driving all like this. And then he was just... Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. So I really like that. That's cool. Okay. Now... And that's what it looks like. All like this. It's basically everything you already saw. Just oriented in different positions. And you see he has the little wheels. So these will roll really, really good. I wouldn't recommend using any of your Transformer figures or anything that does not have rubber grills on concrete by the way if you guys like to do stuff like that i would not do that i would not recommend it because concrete is not good to be using your figures on for vehicle mode with the wheels so if you guys take pictures like how i do and you guys just mess around with them sometimes don't roll them on concrete just listen, please. Don't put them on concrete. I went my lesson like a song a while ago. But again, you see all the details basically. Yeah, I really like that. I enjoy all of that. It's basically everything you already saw. I'm gonna transform my back now. Now I'm gonna use I'm not using the instructions. I'm not gonna use the instructions this time. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna use the instructions. I'm gonna show you guys that I actually do not transform him back. So again, like I said, the same thing that you done, you know, putting him back in um vehicle mode, putting them it's the same thing you do, putting them in rubber mode. So what you wanna do is take the turn off. I'm gonna just leave it like that for right now. It don't matter. Um Alright. this apart just like this like that rotate his arm rotate his arm now I'm, I'm gonna show you guys like I said I'm gonna show you guys what he looks like with um, the with both of his hands out and I'm also show you that you can store it on him even with the hand 
I bet the turn will look up a little bit more, so, I don't know. Not the turn, but the, this part. It'll, it, you'll, you guys will see it, and you guys will see it. I'm gonna just say, all right, so, rotate that down just like this. Rotate his head up. Hopefully you guys saw that. I mean, you guys see me really transform him into robot mode. I mean, I, it's the same thing that I'm doing, just re in reverse. Rotate his hand out. I really hope you guys can see this. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. You don't have to because, again, the gun, you know, to store it. Yeah, you don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. I'm going to do it for this part of the video. And there you go. An arm done right there. Now, untab the legs from that spot right there. Take apart this part right here. You can lift them both up, honestly. You, you, you don't really necessarily have to lift that part up, but I do it because it's still kind of a tab, but I think it's don't be getting tabbed all the way in like that, so that's probably why. Lift this up. Rotate the legs up. Rotate the feet down. Same thing on the other side. Rotate that up. Feet down. I think the only thing I've been down. Okay, but pull these out again. Rotate them. Push them in, and you see the difference. So for a vehicle mode, they will be up like this. Rubber mode, they'll be down like this. Push these out, rotate them down, tab. And then with this, what you want to do is, you want to just up like this, boom. And tab it in, just like that. Then, take this. Rotate the handle up, just like that. Rotate this back in, collapse it down, just like this. And then you take this tab right here, which will plug into this little slot right here. Again, you guys, look, I'm doing it with the hand down. I'm showing you guys how to do it with the hand down. You can, you can still do it. See, now look, now that's the only thing about it. It will lift this part up a little bit more than how it's supposed to look. But when you're done, that's how you transform shockwave from vehicle mode and back into robot mode. And you can start with whatever, it don't matter really. Just certain things you probably can start with like taking this apart, knowing these right here, gotta tap into the holes in this leg. Yeah, don't do not do that. Cause you know you gotta take it right, take those apart first. It's gonna be standing good. Okay. Now, There you go. You got shockwave. And it's robot mode. Looking good. Looking, looking good. So, let me see. I, could, I don't really think I tried this. Y'all might want to see what, if, what he looked like with this extended like this. So, I'm going to show you guys what he looked like with that extended. And it might make the hand feel more easier to just... Not, um, let me see. Oh, okay. Now look. There you go. Just in case if you guys wanted to see that. Mm -hmm. I have it all the way extended out. Look like how it's supposed to be in vehicle mode. Just in case you guys wanted to see that. And with the hand in there too. That's what it looked like. That's exactly what it looks like. 
looks decent. I kind of like it. Now I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to transform the hand in and show off what it looks like with the hand transformed in. Alright, now that looks dope. That looks pretty good, actually. I like that. I'm looking all mangled and stuff. My bad, shock. Alright, I'm gonna take that. Boom. That's at the end of the video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and liked the video. We post, share on our platforms, you know, let people know I do YouTube and I, you know, make video reviews and gaming content. So thank you guys for watching and thank you guys who actually support me, subscribe, and everything like that. Thank you for taking the time of your day to watch my video. You guys have a good, wonderful day today. And always, God bless you guys. This is Studio Series 110 Shockwave. Video review, and I'm out.